Okay, so guys, we've got a new firmware update for the Sony WF-1000XM4. It's called version 1.4.2, and it promises to improve voice call quality. Now, this is something that has been requested ever since the Mark IVs were launched. Also, the update promises to improve the stability of music playback. I figure that most of us have not had much of an issue on that front, but for all of you who do have problems with music playback, let us know in the comments if this has fixed it. But compared to the previous firmware 1.3.3, does the update also affect other areas of the XM4's performance like noise cancelling and sound quality? This is what we're going to find out in a series of tests in this video. If you guys want to skip to the parts you're interested in, I've split the video into chapters for your convenience. And if you want to know in advance whether future software updates are going to affect your XM4's performance, hit subscribe and tap the bell button to stay notified. First, the call quality test in both quiet and noisy conditions using some really loud cafe style background noise. I'm now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Sony WF-1000XM4 running firmware 1.3.3. Background noise. I'm now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Sony WF-1000XM4 running firmware 1.3.3. I am now making a phone call in a quiet place using the Sony WF-1000XM4 running firmware 1.4.2. Background noise. I am now making a phone call in a noisy place using the Sony WF-1000XM4 running firmware 1.4.2. Well, seems to me that there wasn't much of an improvement with the new firmware. If there was, I'm just not hearing it. I mean, my voice sounds the same as before in quiet conditions and under noisier conditions, I'm still hearing that same distortion in my voice. The background noise reduction hasn't gotten better either, so I think the engineers at Sony they really need to watch this video to know exactly what needs to be fixed. But what about for noise cancelling? Are there any changes? Let's find out. And as usual, I'm going to use the same background noise as before. So in terms of noise cancelling, I'm not seeing any difference at all, which is great because you're still going to get that same cutting edge ANC as before this update. Now, in terms of sound quality, I've made some frequency sweeps and it seems that there aren't any significant changes from just above 200Hz all the way to 20kHz. So that covers like the, the absolute upper bass, mids and highs. But we are seeing a pulling back in much of the bass frequencies. At first, I wasn't sure if I liked that because I did like how the XM4's bass sounded before the update. But after listening to it for a bit, there seems to be a little more tightness in the bass and maybe cleaner track separation from the vocals. Now, I'm aware that there are some of you who felt that the XM4's sounded a little boomy before in the bass registers. So this change could be an attempt to address that issue. But if you are somebody who prefers how its bass sounded before the update, 
you can try increasing its bass using the clear bass dial in the Sony Headphones Connect app. So this is all I have for Sony's fourth update for the WF-1984. Like I said, if you want to know in advance if future software updates are going to affect your XM4's performance, get subscribed and tap the bell button to stay notified. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you like this video. Also, a big shout out to these legends who support this channel by contributing a dollar or more per month to the crowdfunding website Patreon. You can also join us on the world's most popular gaming chat app, Discord. If you want to hang out or chat, link is in the box down below. Click here to check out the weirdest earbuds from Sony that I have ever tested or watch another video from this channel.